Hey guys, it's Sheena from She Walks With God, my blog and YouTube channel teaching you how to live with purpose and create a life you love. Today's video is my DIY industrial pipe closet that I have been working on. I wanted to make this video as I went through the process of building to show you guys and help any of you who are out there who are interested in doing something similar if you are interested in learning how to build your own DIY industrial pipe closet, then just keep watching. I recommend starting with a sketch to map out your closet and kind of get an understanding of how many materials you're possibly going to need. I will leave a list of everything that I used down below so that you guys can see what I did. So this is the before of my closet. Super awful, just a mess, everything everywhere terrible, awful. I'm so embarrassed that this was even what it was, but it was what it was. So the next step that you're going to want to do is take some tape and take your sketch and actually put it into scale. Just grab a cardboard box. You are going to need some work gloves like these and you're going to need a box cutter, cut a knife like this. This is acetone, it is very strong, and you're going to need a mask for all of these things that you're gonna be doing. My disclaimer, wear a mask. If you are under 18 years old, you should not be doing this alone, and you need a parent. All of this spray paint and everything here that you're gonna need is very toxic. So go ahead and put on your gloves now. You're gonna put acetone onto the towel and clean the residue that comes on the pipes off. They're greasy, you have to clean them. I'm only using the acetone outside, but in the next clip you'll see I go inside to take the stickers off of the pipes because it was so freezing cold out. I was debating between these two spray paints, so I just took both of them and did a little bit of a quick test to see which one I liked better. Ultimately, I liked the flat nickel, the flat antique nickel, and that's the one that I went with here. So I brought in the first like rack or whatever you want to call it, kind of putting one screw in just to hold it. And then I'm gonna bring in the second one and put it here so I can check for levelness and make sure that the placement of that one is, eh, is in a good spot so that I can drill the holes for the second one, if that makes sense. Well, I put this together outside of the closet, obviously, because it's far too big. And I'm gonna do exactly what I did on this side over here, which is I'm going to take a little pen, mark out the holes on the wall, and then I'm going to drill in my anchors. So you can see nice and close up, this is where we're gonna screw into. And it's nice and flush against the wall. I have my level dead finder or scanner. This one right here, I'll uh, put the link down below for this for you guys, but it looks like this. The biggest reason why this took me as long as it's taken me is because this wall right here is the wall that is also shared on the other side is my bathroom. So all over here and kind of over here is like lighting, electricity, and like plumbing right here. My shower is right here. So that's what I've been trying to avoid, uh, which is why I got this, you know, it's never going to be perfect. Um, I'm not looking for perfect. This on the other hand is pretty off. Okay guys, so I took this one back out, kind of straightened it, did a lot of turning um, to get these more at the right height. 
with this one already definitely better so when you're checking for levelness check closest to the wall and then you're going to want to move the level back forward and check there as well so that they're the same this is the entire structure i use these felt kind of pieces that have sticky on the other side to put them at the bottom of the flange that touches the floor i'm trying to spare my floor it's brand new so i think this is a really great solution for not marking up the floor if you want to try it as well So I used four anchors per flange and some people do it with two that I've seen and I just found that to be really unsteady and I wanted it to be really as secure as possible. I did four, it is a lot and it's a lot more work but it's definitely worth it to just know that it's not going anywhere. Now that I have one of my pillars up, I'm going to try and bring in my shelving to test it and see if it fits. I can only do it with one of the pillars up because it just won't go in otherwise. So I'm starting here at the bottom. I brought my second shelf in and it fits really awesome. I'm so happy with it. Just in case you guys were curious, um, I did use plywood. It's a smoother plywood, so it's not just like super raw and needs a lot of work. This one was actually already sanded pretty good. The top one over here definitely needs a lot more sanding because it's super crooked and it doesn't totally fit, but really happy overall. This over here has to come down still. That's from the old closet. Moving on now to putting the fitting for my pipe that clothes will actually hang on that goes into the wall. At this point, I'm just really testing these to make sure that they fit, that the cuts were accurate, and um, that they're not too long and the threadings go far enough in that I have enough space between the flange and the wall to screw it in. So this bottom rack that I'm working on right now is going to hold pants. And this is the bottom one. I cut it 36 inches long, which is perfect and that's fine for there what i came to find later was the top i also cut 36 and this is going to hold like coats and shirts and things like that i realized later that i really wanted to put a cleat in it's just like a piece of wood that you put between the wall and between the flange just to offer it more support for this first cleat that i'm adding right here I already pre-cut it. It's just a piece of the plywood that I use the shelves out of. It's a three quarter inch, so it's pretty thick. I put some wood glue on it. I pre-drilled and hit studs. I'm just gonna put it right into place. And this is what's gonna offer the shelf support. So when you put weight on it, it doesn't collapse or anything like that. And that works great. What I had to do for the cleat for the actual flange for the rod, um, I had to use a piece of half inch poplar because it, the three quarter inch was just too thick with the 36 inch cut pipe that I did. Unfortunately, this was an afterthought and I really didn't have any other choice, but it actually worked out real well. I put the wood glue on it and just screwed it in. I just wanted to show you guys a close up here of what I did for the long shelves. In order to get the shelf to lay flat, I have a flange that goes into a three and a half inch piece here, into a coupling right here, that goes into a five inch piece right in the middle here, into a T that then goes into a one and a half inch connector right here, and directly into the T for my pillar. And again, I will post the exact measurements of these below. For the clothing rod, I have a half inch connecting piece that goes right into a 90 degree elbow directly into the clothing rod. To reinforce the shelvings, I use these half inch galvanized tube straps and they just go right in here like this. I use a half inch screw and they just help to make sure that it's not gonna move.
This is our after, as you can see. All of the long board cuts here, Home Depot actually did for me, and they cut all the pipes that weren't already pre-cut, and the small cuts and wooden shelves were done at a friend's house. I love this little stool that we have here. We got it so we could have it to relax and sit, but also have it for prayer. I found this tie and belt rack here for my husband, which is great. I used this to hang his hats here on hooks. Got some stuff stored up there, his things here. I got these um, like sweater boxes and they're for socks and underwear and t-shirts and just things like that. This is my side of the closet. I hang my heels on a rack right here, which I love. And I plan on putting in a mirror on this wall right here. This is my absolute favorite part of my closet. This is my prayer board. And I couldn't wait to put this up. I love it. That is my DIY industrial pipe closet. If you enjoyed this DIY and found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. For any future videos, you can be the first to get the notifications for other DIYs like this and any other content that I put out. I will see you guys next time. Until then, remember to live with purpose and create a life you love. I'll see you guys.